Yeah, I think it's a very special moment for SRB in general and everyone who's involved, talking about supporters also. You know, it's been a great year for us on the field and also off the field to see the people of South Africa being united behind our team. And you can see also it's running off also to the oldest uh, sports school around in South Africa. If you look at the vibe now in football, you know, and there was a local derby, then everyone had it was in a good space, you know, to support that game. And also if you go to cricket and netball, you know, so it's something great. And one thing that is was a special uh, highlight of my night tonight was to see Libby, you know, and for a lady to be celebrated for her achievement, you know, to be able to win two of them. So it was very, very special. But once again, I'm just proud to be South African and, uh, and for what we have achieved as a country also. Yeah, I think those uh, gentlemen, uh, they deserve those, uh, that opportunity in our team. You know, and uh, uh, well-respected men, we talk about international rugby. If you see Luka Jerry has played for Ireland, Luka Tony has played for the All Blacks and also coached around uh, for Highlanders and also coached in Japan. So those are the guys that are experienced in their position. So once again, and, and uh, it's exciting now to get some couple of new voices in our coaching team also. Because remember what we always say as a coaching staff, that if we're going to keep on doing the same things again and, and, and expect to win, you know, other teams will also catch up on us and maybe go past. Oh, so that's one thing I must compliment our, actually now head coach, our almost said director of run. <laughs> so one thing that I must compliment him to keep on evolving, you know, and how we do things. So yeah, once again, looking forward to work with those guys. I think the goal is always to be the best in the world uh, and how we do things also, we keep evolving, you know, and uh, like even now today, when he received this award, uh, he mentioned one of the most vital things. People, when they talk about uh, transformation, they always think about black and white, but they don't see how uh, rugby is touching people's life, you know, in South Africa. Like again, if you can see a boy from the farm, you know, being able uh, uh, to call himself Mapimpi, to be able to call himself Siakolisi. And you see guys from the streets, you know, uh, that's the streets of uh, New Brighton, Kwazakela, or can be Soweto. Those boys being the proudest supporters of Yeben. That is what rugby means to us in South Africa. So it's not only about just black and white, it's about getting people united, you know, and then also pulling towards one direction. I think that's the transformation we talk about, you know, and also one thing again, if we can change, maybe get one or two supporters. I, I think that's one thing that in 2023 World Cup he has done in South Africa. I think we've gained more supporters, a lot of people that are interested to how we do the game and why 7-1 split, and all of a sudden, why are we doing the scrums from the, from, the, from, the, from the free kick? So that is the transformation also we talk about, you know. So as a nation and as, as, as a country, I think we are in the right direction and hopefully we can still pull together because we are, as, as you can see now, when we are united, we are very, very strong together. Yeah, the next the next World Cup, one thing I'm not sure about is about are we going to go for one point wins again? Because uh, I've lost my hair, so I'm not too sure about that. But once again, uh, I think whatever that, that works for us as a team, because remember as coaching staff also, we do a lot of hard work behind the scene and see what's best for the team. You know, people think sometimes we just wake up and think, OK, let's just go to one uh, seven one split. There's a lot of thought behind everything that we do as a coaching staff. And uh, it's, I'm also glad that our players, are, they also buy into it. I think that's a key thing when it comes to us as a team when we talk about alignment. People think this alignment is just a word, you know. We live by it. Whatever decision we make as a coaching staff and the players also with their input, I think that is one thing that I respect about this team. Everyone just channel their energy together towards that common goal. So once again, if it means to win the fifth World Cup or the third one in a row, it means we must go to 8-0. Then let it be. It. I don't think we've got anything to prove to anyone. Everyone has got their rights for, for their opinions. As you can see now, probably that was the English playing their minds game against the Irish, and I have to compliment them. It worked for them. They did well over the weekend to beat yeah, Ireland. But once again, to one thing that I know for sure now, probably the best team in the world, not actually probably, one, the best team in the world currently is the team that won the World Cup. So that's just going to be my view on it. Otherwise, I'm not going to entertain all the other things on the side. People are playing their own mind game, but we're not going to fall in that trap. The, uh, the, 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 the Ireland series, uh, as you can see, with both games that are being sold out already. So it's a massive thing and it's good for the game, you know. Uh, you probably, hopefully, there will be Six Nations champions playing against the world champions. I think that's what the people of uh, South Africa, also the world, I think they, they also deserve that, you know. Uh, we don't take it for granted the fact that they've also pay from their pockets and sacrifice everything to make sure that they come and support us. So once again, uh, hopefully we can give them a good show. But once again, when it comes to the best team in the world, four times. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, you know what? It's always a proud moment when you see the players executing whatever they want to achieve on the, uh, on the game. And people don't understand. They always focus on the no-look kick. But I've seen Mani Lepok practicing that kick more than 100 times. See, for me, I just see that kick being practiced more than 100 times and when you get an opportunity and then you pull the trigger. That is one thing that is special as a coach. No look or no look, I've seen him looking at that kick for more than 100 times. So as a coach, I enjoyed it and I was proud for that moment also. And uh, something about Gaza that's, that I enjoy also. You can see for a player who's only 25 who has won World Cup twice already, that is something special. And for him to have confidence to make a call in the game like that, you know, it shows that this guy is growing as a leader. I know a lot of people, they always pay attention maybe to a guy like Siakulis to make decisions. It shows how much leadership in our, in our team that we've got now at the moment. So once again, well done to everyone who's a winner today. And yeah, once again, proud is South African.